let's continue our discussion for module 5 for the midterm. Okay, so uh, criminal is theology. So let's go now to the next slide. Early beginnings. First, we have the so-called so -called the demonological theory. According to this theory, individuals were taught to be possessed by good or evil spirits. Sinasabi ng theory na to na yung individual is pinopossess ng good spirit or evil spirit which cause good or evil behavior. Kaya din sila nakakagawa ng uh, uh, good or maganda at masamang gawain. The theory maintains that criminal behavior was believed to be the result of evil spirits and demons sometimes of natural force that control the behavior of a man. So, sabi nila noon, okay, napopossess daw tayo ng tinatawag nating demons. So, kapag once na napossess tayo ng tinatawag nating demons, okay, sila na yung kumokontrol sa atin or sila na yung kumokontrol at uh, once na nakontrol nila tayo or nakontrol ka nila, okay, yung mga ginagawa mong behavior, okay, hin minsan hindi mo alam or uh, sinasabi nilang na, o oh, baka uh, na-possess yan ng uh, evil spirits or yung tinatawag na nating demons. Yan yung tinatawag nating demonological theory. Next, pre-20th century, okay, no, uh, 1738 to 1798, the classical school of criminology. This is uh, this is the school of thought advocated by Cesar Beccaria. Take note, classical school of criminology is advocated by Cesar Beccaria. Hindi po si Cesar Lombroso. Whose real name is Cesar uh, Bonisara Marches de Beccaria together with Jeremy Bentham noong 1823. Cesar Beccaria states that people want to achieve pleasure and avoid pain. Thus, to him, crimes must provide some pleasure to the criminal. To deter crime, he believed that one must administer pain in an appropriate amount okay, to counterbalance the pleasure obtained from a crime. As originally, okay, classical criminology has several basic element. So, sabi ni Bicaria, people want to achieve pleasure. Gusto ng tao na makuha yung pleasure na yon, pero ina-avoid nila yung pain. Ayaw nila ng pain. Ang gusto lang nila is pleasure. Okay? Kung ano lang yung uh, mas makakabuti sa kanila. Yun lang yung gusto nila. Pero once na meron ng pain, ayaw na nila. Okay? So, sabi nga dito, classical criminology had several basic elements. First, that people have free will to choose. Okay? May kalayaan ang tao na pumili. Okay? Criminal or lawful uh, solutions to meet their needs or settle their problems. So, people have free will to choose. Criminal or lawful solutions to meet their needs or settle their problems. Next, that criminal solutions may be more attractive than lawful ones since they require less work for a greater payoff. So, uh, yan yung mga several na uh, nasa classical theory natin. Next, a person's choice of criminal solutions may be controlled by his or her fear of punishment. Okay? So, kapag na, once na alaman na niya kung ano yung punishment, siyempre mag-iisip na yan. Kung pipiliin, uh, kung uh, susundin ba niya yung pinapagawa sa kanya or hindi. Next, the harder the punishment, the better it is to control criminal behavior. The classical theory maintains that man is essentially a moral creature with absolute free will to choose between good and evil. Therefore, stre stress is placed upon the criminal himself that every, ma every man is responsible for his act. So, take note, classical theory okay, is advocated by Cesar Beccaria and classical theory. Okay, uh, 
para mas madali ninyong uh, maintindihan, okay? Free will, okay? To choose between the good and evil. Okay? Meron siyang karapatang pumili. Okay? May, or meron siyang kalayaan na pumili. Next, free will by Bicaria. A philosophy advocating punishment severe enough for people to choose to avoid criminal acts. It includes the belief that a certain criminal act warrants a certain punishment without any variation. Sabi ko nga, free will, okay, by Cesar Vicaria. Advocating punishment severe enough for people to choose between kung gagawin niya or hindi yung pinapagawa sa kanya. Then next, we have the so we called Hedonism by Jeremy Bentham. Believe that people choose pleasure and avoid pain. Diba? Sino ba naman ang gusto ng uh, pain? Sino ba naman ang gusto ng sakit? Diba? So, mas okay na or uh, yung ibang tao, mas pinipili na lang yung pleasure. Okay? Mas pinipili na lang yung uh, uh, sarap. Okay? Pleasure nga eh. Okay? Ina-avoid nila yung pain. Ayan yung uh, tinatawag natin or ibig sabihin ng Hedonism by Jeremy Bentham. Next, the neoclassical school of criminology, okay, or no particular authority uh, cited. This theory argues that classical theory should be modified in certain details. Since children and lunatics cannot calculate pleasure and pain, they should not be regarded as criminals or to be punished. Okay, ang sinasabi ng neoclassical, ang children daw, even lunatics, okay, or yung tinatawag nating baliw, is hindi nila nakakalculate yung pleasure and the pain. Hindi nila alam kung anong ibig sabihin ng pleasure at anong ibig sabihin ng pain. So, ang sinasabi ng classical theory na hindi pwedeng ipanish ang children and also uh, hindi rin sila pwedeng uh, tawaging criminals. Okay, kasi nga hindi nga nila uh, ma-justify, okay, kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng pleasure and pain. Neoclassical argue, uh, argued became the basic principles of judicial and re, uh, legal systems of the Western civilization during the last century and even up to the present. The neoclassical of criminology argued the situations or circumstances uh, Possible to exercise free will or reason to exempt the cause or exempt the accused. Okay, so yan ang uh, tinatawag nating uh, neoclassical school of criminology. It, it is all about children and lunatics. Uh, they can or they cannot calculate pleasure and pain. We have the so-called the positivist o yung tinatawag nating Italian theory. The school that composed of Italians who agreed that in the study of crime, the emphasis should be on scientific treatment of criminal, not the penalties to be imposed after conviction. Uh, it maintained that crime as any other act is a natural phenomenon and is comparable to disaster or calamity. That crime as a social moral phenomenon cannot be treated and checked by the uh, impositions or punishment but rather rehabilitation or the reinforcement of the individual. Ang sinasabi naman ng uh, positivist or Italian theory, okay, mas ini-emphasis dito yung treatment okay, or yung uh, para gamutin yung uh, criminal para i-rehabilitate siya. Okay? Hindi ini-emphasis dito yung tinatawag nating penalties to be imposed. Okay? Ang ini-emphasis dito is yung treatment and the rehabilitation of the criminal. Kasi yun daw po ang kailangan nila. Yun daw ang kailangan ng tinatawag nating uh, the pos uh, positivist or yung, uh, Italian school. So, we have three School of Criminology. One, okay, is the Classical School of Criminology. Two is the neo, uh, Neoclassical School of Criminology. And last, we have the Positivist or 
or Italian school. So, yan yung tatlong school of thought in criminology. Theories presented in the positivist criminology. That there is a distinct born criminal. Next, that their types can be identified by certain markings or stigmata. Next, that these markings are not causes of crime but rather the symptoms of activism or revision of a person's body to his uh, ape-like ancestors. Next, that the person who carries such physical defect or stigmata okay, are refrained from committing crime unless believes under an excessive favorable condition and circumstances. So, yan yung mga theories na naipresent in the positivist uh, positivist uh, criminology. Next, we have the so-called preniology. Preniology, the study of the external formation of the skull and its shape, such as bumps on the head to determine whether these physical attributes were linked to criminal behavior. Uh, preniologists believe that, that external cranial characteristics Characteristics dictate which areas of the brain control physical activity. So, uh, uh, preniology, okay, yan, yan yung uh, pag-aaral about dun sa skull natin, yung shape ng skull, yung mga bumps, or yung mga parang bukol-bukol. Noted preniologists, ito yung mga tinatawag nating preniologists. One is Charles Goring, two, Franz Joseph Gall, and second is Joseph Casper Spurza or Fran, uh, Franz Joseph Joseph Spurza. Next we have Charles Cadwell. Okay, so next we have Charles Cadwell. Uh, the last three personalities conducted advanced scientific studies on preniology, confirming Goring's theory that bumps on the head were indications of uh, psychological tendencies to abnormal behavior and that the brain tissues and cells regulates human actions. Okay? So, yung tatlong personalities, uh, nagtandak sila ng scientific studies on preniology and kino, uh, parang, uh, they are confirming the Goring's theory that the bumps on the head were indications daw ng uh, uh, psychological tendencies or mga uh, pwedeng mag-indicate ng psychological tendencies okay, to the abnormal behavior and brain tissues and cells regulate human actions din daw. So, yung mga bumps daw uh, sa ulo or sa skull or sa head, okay, is nag indicate ng psychological tendencies. Physiognomy. Physiognomy, the study of body structure in uh, relation to the type of crime a person commit. So, body structure yung uh, physical appearance. Okay? Noted uh, physiognomist is William Sheldon. Then, next, we have J.K. Lavater. Studies or studied the facial features of criminal to determine whether the shape of ears, nose, eyes, and the distances between them were associated with antisocial behavior. So, even pala yung facial features natin, pinag-aaralan din para noon kung paano yung shape ng, ng tenga mo, kung sarang ba, yung uh, shape ng nose mo, kung uh, pointed ba, matangos ba, or uh, ang tawag dito, pango, Yung eyes mo, kung singkit ba, bilog, okay? Pinag-aaralan din pala yun. And uh, binibigyan din pala sila ng definition kung yung mga yun is pwedeng maka-apekto sa criminal behavior mo or sa behavior mo as a person. Next. So, classifications of criminals by Lombroso. We have uh, six classifications of criminals by uh, Lombroso. Okay, first, we have the born criminals, criminal by passion, insane criminals, criminaloid, 
occasional criminal, and uh, shadow criminals. So first, let's go for born criminals. Born criminals, there are born criminals according to Rombro, uh, Lombroso. The belief that criminal behavior is inherited. Inherited. Ibig sabihin, nakukuha, nai-inherit mo yan sa parents mo. Okay? Kaya, uh, kapapanganak pa lang, okay, sinasabi na, sinasabi na nila sa'yo na, o oh, yung batang yan paglaki is magiging kriminal din. Kasi, kriminal yung nanay at tatay niya. Okay? Yun po yung tinatawag nating born criminals. Next, we have a criminal by passion. Are individuals who are easily influ influenced by great emotions like fit of anger. Okay? So, nagiging criminal sila or nakakagawa sila ng krimen dahil sa galit nila. Okay? Fit of anger. Once na nagalit sila or grabe yung galit nila sa isang tao, okay, pwede, pwede niyang magawa niyon ng krimen. Okay? By great emotions kasi, yung nararamdaman mong emotions. Next, we have the so-called insane criminals. Are those who commit crime due to abnormalities or psychological disorders. Insane, criminal, neurotic, psychotic, agbagte. Okay? Psychological disorders. Meron po silang uh, sakit sa pag-iisip. Abnormalities po. Kaya nga, insane criminals. Nakaga nakakagawa sila ng krimen dahil okay, uh, hindi naman siguro dahil baliw. Meron naman pong mga baliw na hindi naman po gumagawa or hindi naman nananakit. Pero, sabi nga, insane criminals, isa yan, or isa yan sa mga pwede nilang gawin. Okay? Ang manakit or makagawa ng krimen. Next, we have the so-called criminaloid. A person who commit crime due to less physical stamina or self-control. Okay? So, less physical stamina, syempre sa... Uh, Katawan yan and self-control. Kulang sila sa uh, self-control sa kanilang katawan. Kaya sila nakakapag-commit ng uh, crime. Next, we have the so-called occasional criminal. Are those who commit crime due to insignificant reasons. Okay? That push them to do at a given occasion. Okay? For example, uh, occasional, uh, kunwari nasa party kayo, Okay? And then, nakita mo yung uh, girlfriend mo or boyfriend mo na may kahalikang uh, ibang tao. Okay? So, by that time, so, syempre, sino ba naman ang may gusto, di ba, na makakita ng ganun? So, ikaw, ang ginawa mo, binugbog mo hanggang mamatay yung tao na yon. So, isa yon sa mga occasional criminal or uh, napupushkat to do at a given occasion because of that. Okay? Nakakapag-commit ka ng crime. Pero occasional lang yon. Next, we have the so-called pseudo-criminals are those who kill in self-defense. Okay? So, yan naman po ang, ang tinatawag nating pseudo-criminals are those uh, who kill in self-defense. Next, we have Enrico Ferry. He was the best known Lombroso's associate. His greatest contribution was the attack on the classical doctrine of free will. Okay, classical doctrine of free will by Beccaria, which argued that criminals be held morally responsible for their crimes because they must have made a rational decision to commit the crime. Okay, so uh nakipa uh nakipag-argue that uh, criminals daw must be held morally responsible dun sa ginawa nilang krimen. Kasi uh, napag na naman nila yon, Okay? Para gawin yung krimen na yon. Yun ang sinasabi ni Enrico Ferry. Next, we have Rafael Garofalo, another follower of Lombroso, who also rejected the doctrine of free will and supported the position that the only way to understand crime was to study it by scientific method. Sinasabi niya na ang uh, kaisa-isang paraan is understand crime. To understand crime was to study its scientific method. 
influence on Lombroso's theory of atavistic stigmata, okay? man's inferior or animalistic behavior. He traced that uh, the roots of criminal behavior not to physical features but to their psychological equivalents which called moral anomalies. Yan naman yung sinasabi ni Rafael Garofalo. Okay? Uh, sinasabi niya na mas uh, pag-arala yung scientific method ng krimen. Okay? Hindi lang doon sa doctrine of free will ni Bicaria. Next, next slide tayo. So, we have types of criminal by Garofalo. Okay, so we have four types of criminal by Garofalo. One is murderers. Next, violent criminals. Deficient criminals. And lascivious criminals. Yan yung types of criminal by Garofalo. Okay, so murderers muna tayo. Murderers are those who are satisfied or revenge. Okay? Yan po ang tinatawag na murderers. Yung nasasatisfied sila because of vengeance or revenge. Next, we have violent criminals. Those who commit very serious crimes. Deficient criminals naman who commit crime against properties naman yan. And lascivious criminals, those who commit crimes against chastity. Okay? So, yan yung mga types of criminal uh, by Garofalo or Rafael Garofalo. Next, in early, early 20th century, David Emil Dirk Heap. He advocated the so-called anomie theory. This, uh, the theory that focused on the sociological point of the facetivist school, which explains that the absence of norms in a society provides a setting conducive to crime and other antisocial acts. According to him, the explanation of human conduct lies not in the individual, but in the group and social organization. Okay? So, yung uh, human conduct daw is nakukuha in kung saan tayo uh, nakatira or saan tayo gumagalaw. Okay? And that is our social organization. Okay? Next, we have Sigmund Freud. This view on criminal behavior was based on the use of psychology in explaining an approach in understanding criminal behavior. His theory, psychoanal uh, psychoanalytical, maintains that Criminal behavior is a form. Neurosis that criminality may result from an overactive conscience. So, uh, yan yung uh, uh, theory ni Sigmund Freud, yung tinatawag nating psychoanalytical theory. Sabi niya, criminal behavior is a form of neurosis that criminality may result from an overactive conscience. Next, number two, Crime is the result of the compulsive need for punishment to alleviate guilt and anxiety. Number three, criminal behavior is a means of obtaining gratification of need. Number four, criminal, criminal conducts represent a displaced hostility. Criminality is essentially a representation of psychological conflict. So, yan yung uh, uh, nasa psychoanalytical theory ni Sigmund Freud. Next, we have Robert Ezra Park. He advocated the human ecology theory. This theory maintains that crime is a function of social change that occurs along with environmental change. It also maintains that the isolation segregation, competition, conflict, social contract, interaction, and hierarchy of people are the major influences of criminal behavior and crimes. Okay? So, ang sinasabi dito sa human ecology theory, okay, na 
yung behavior or yung criminal behavior ng isang tao or yung crimes na nakukumit niya is because of the environmental yung nakapalibot sa atin. Okay? So, uh, syempre, hindi mo naman na uh, maa-adapt yun doon lang sa loob ng bahay nyo, diba? So, maa-adapt mo yun in your environment. Okay? Sa mga taong nakakasalamuha mo. Middle 20th century, we have Ernest Kreshmir. He distinguished the three principal types of psych. We have the sthenic, athletic, and picnic. First, asthenic, they are lean, slightly built, and narrow shoulders. Athletic naman, medium to tall, strong muscular, and coarse bone. Picnic, medium height, rounded figure, massive neck, and broad face. Yan yung mga uh, principal types of psych ni uh, Ernest Kreshmir. So, yung aesthetic, uh, uh, asthenic, sabi nga dyan, lean and slightly built. Okay? Yan yung mga uh, payat. Athletic naman, medium to tall, strong. Yan naman yung mga tinatawag nating mga maskulado. Then, picnic, medium height, rounded figure, yung tinatawag nating matataba. Okay? So, next we have the so we called dysplastic or mixed type. Those who are less clear evident having any predominant type. Their offenses are against decency and morality. Yan naman yung mga offense na, naga, na nagagawa nila. Yung mga dis, uh, plastic or mixed type. Next, we have uh, William H. Sheldon. He advocated the somatotyping theory. His key ideas are uh, concentrated on the principle of survival of the fittest. As a behavioral science, he maintains that the belief of inheritance as the primary determinants of behavior are the psych behavior and the psych is a reliable indicator of personality. So, si William Sheldon ang nag-advocate ng tinatawag nating somatotyping theory. So, ito yung mga classification uh, ng body psych ni Sheldon. Like the uh, classification of body psych din ni Kreshmir. Si Kreshmir, ang uh, tawag niyo doon is asthenic, athletic, and picnic. Si Sheldon naman is endomor endomorphy, mesomorphy, and ectomorphy. Or endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. Okay? So, in endomorphy or endomorph, a type of relatively predominance of soft roundness throughout the regions of the body. They have low specific gravity, persons with typically relaxed and comfortable disposition. Okay? So, yan yung mga tinatawag nating picnic, yung mga matataba. Okay? So, in mesomorph naman, athletic type o yung tinatawag nating mga uh, muscular people, predominance of muscle, bone, and cognitive tissue, normally heavy, hard and firm, sting and tough. They are people who are uh, routinely active and aggressive. So, as I've said, misomorph, uh, they are the people who are routinely active and aggressive and they are the most likely to commit crimes. In ecto naman, yung mga payat, thin, psych, flat chest, delica uh, delicacy, through the body, slender, poorly muscled, they tend to look more fatigue without with drone. So, kahit hindi naman sila pagod, pero kapag titignan mo sila, okay, parang mas pagod pa sila, okay, yung sa physical features pa lang. Okay, so yan po yung mga classification of body psych ni Sheldon. Okay, so next tayo. Edwin Sutherland. Okay, Edwin Sutherland, Dean of Modern Criminology. He advocated the differential association theory. 
which maintains that the, that the society is composed of different group of people. Okay? Sabi niya, ang society daw is uh, na-organize or nakocompose ng different group of people having criminalistic tradition and anti-criminalistic tradition. And that criminal behavior is learned and not inherited. Sinasabi din yan, ang criminal behavior is natututunan, hindi daw po siya na-inherit. It is learned through the process of communication. Natututunan daw siya through the process of communication. Okay? Kung paano, makipag, kung paano ka makikap... Sorry. Kung paano ka makipag-communicate sa isang tao or kung paano sila makipag-communicate sa iyo. And learning process include technique of committing the crime, motive, and the attitude. So, yan ang sinasabi ni Edwin Sutherland sa tinatawag nating differential association theory. Next. We have uh, postulates of differential association theory. First, we have the the criminal behavior is learned. Okay? Sinasabi nila na ang criminal behavior daw is natututunan. This that the theory that criminal behavior is inherited. Likewise, criminal behavior is not invention by criminal himself, but learned in the process of association with others. Tama naman po. Okay? The more you associate with others, the more na may, natutun may natututunan ka sa kanila. Okay? Meron kang na-a-adapt sa kanila. Okay? Kaya ang sinasabi ni Edwin Sutherland dun sa differential association theory is criminal behavior is not inherited but it is learned natututunan mo siya in the long run next that criminal behavior is learned in the process of communication with other persons okay the communication with other persons in the process of learning of criminal behavior could either be verbal or through imitation okay syempre yung communication mo pwedeng maging verbal Okay? Or pwedeng true imitation naman. Imitation is yung ginagaya mo. Okay? Next, learning occurs within the intimate personal group. I repeat that the principal part of learning occurs within the intimate personal group. Group unity among the criminal gang is the most effective vehicles of influencing other to learn and adapt criminal behavior. Siyempre, kapag may organization ka, kapag nakasali ka sa isang organization, nakasali ka sa isang gang, okay, mas mabilis, mas effective, or mas naiimpluensyahan ka nila. Okay? And mas naa-adapt mo yung criminal behavior nila. And, okay, uh, yung na-adapt mong criminal behavior, yun din naman yung uh, ginagawa mo. This is due to the fact that loyalty, faith, and belief among each other must prevail for the group to survive as one. Next, that upon learning criminal behavior, the criminal learns the techniques of committing crimes, it motives, drives, and rationale. Last, the learning process may vary in frequency, duration, priority, and intensity. Yes, learning process pang matagalan po yan. Okay? Uh, ibig sabihin ng learning process is step by step, by step. hindi naman na kapag ka nakita mo yes na alam ko na no okay process po yan okay parang kapag ka uh, for example syempre like tayong mga tao okay una okay ipapasok ka muna ng mother mo as uh, kinder Okay? So, doon pa lang, natututo ka na. Habang uh, napupunta ka sa preschool, uh, grade school, high school, and then college, okay? Doon mo, uh, or doon na napaprocess. Okay? Doon na naiinculcate sa'yo yung mga dapat mong matutunan. And parang ganun din po sa criminal behavior. Okay? Step by step process lang po yan. Next. That while, 
uh, that while criminal behavior is an expression of general needs and values, it is not explained by those general needs and values since non-criminal behavior is an expression of the same needs and values. Okay? Thieves generally steal in order to secure money. But likewise, honest laborers work in order to secure money. The need of value may be happiness principles, striving for social status or money motive. Kaya lang naman tayo gumagawa minsan ng krimen is because of kailangan natin ng pangkain. Kailangan natin ng pera. Okay, yung katayuan din kasi natin sa buhay. Mahirap din naman na uh, kumain tatlong beses ng isang araw kung wala kang trabaho. Okay, at ang pinakamadaling pagkuhanan ng pera is, okay, doing a crime. Okay, hindi ko naman sinasabi na kapag gumawa ka ng krimen is agad-agad may makukuha ka. Okay, hindi naman po ganun kadali yun. Okay? So, yun ang uh, sinasabi natin. Next, we have Walter Reckless. He advocated the containment theory. This theory is a form of control which suggests that a series of both internal and external factors contributes to criminal behavior. Okay? Pag-control, containment theory by Walter uh, Reckless. Next. Late 20th century, the contemporary pioneers. First, we have Robert King Myrtle. He advocated the so-called strain theory, which maintains that the failure of man to achieve a higher status of life caused them to commit crimes in order for that status or goal to be attained. Okay, sinasabi dito sa strain theory na para ma-maintain or which maintains that the failure of man to achieve para ma-achieve niya yung gusto niyang status of life, okay, cause them to commit crime, okay? Gumagawa sila ng krimen para yung status na yun or yung goal nila is makuha nila. He argued that crime is a means to achieve goals and social structure is the root of the crime problem. He also explains that criminal behavior assumes that people are law abiding but when under great pressure will result to crime. Okay? Sinasabi din niya or in-explain niya na ang mga tao is law abiding citizen but kapag nasa great or under pressure na sila, okay, nakaka-result na yon ng, o nagre-result na yon ng crime. Next, we have Albert Cohen. He advocated the subcultural theory of delinquency. He claims that the lower class cannot socialize effectively at the middle class. In what is considered appropriate middle class behavior? Thus, the lower class gathered together share their common problems, forming subculture that rejects middle class values. Diba? He, uh, parang yung, uh, for example, okay, the sub, uh, subcultural theory. Okay? Lower class and the, yung tinatawag, we have the lower class, middle class, and the upper class kasi. Okay? Kapag nasa lower class ka, nandoon ka lang. Okay? kayo na yung nagsishare ng mga common problems ninyo, either common goal ninyo, iisa na lang. Hindi nyo naman, or nire-reject nyo yung values na meron ang middle class. Okay? Kasi, once na nagsama ang uh, upper, ay, ang lower, sorry, ang lower at middle class, okay, magkakaroon, or baka pwedeng magkaroon ng conflict. Okay? So, next, we have Gresham Sky, or He advocated the neutralization theory. It maintains that an individual will obey or disobey societal rules depending upon his or her ability to rationalize whether he is protected from hurt or destruction. People become law-abiding if they feel they are benefited by it and they 
violate if violate it if these laws are not favorable to them. So, yun naman po ang tinatawag nating neutralization theory. Okay? Individual will obey or disobey societal rules depending upon his or her ability to rationalize whether he is protected from hurt or destruction. Titignan muna niya kung makaka-apekto ba yun sa kanya or hindi. Okay? And also, people became law-abiding if they are if they feel they are benefited, kung meron ba silang makukuhang benefit doon, they are a law-abiding citizen. But kapag ka hindi naman, okay, if they violate it, if these laws are not favorable to them then. Next, we have Lloyd Olin. He advocated the differential opportunity theory. This theory explained that society leads the lower class to want things and society does things to people. Okay. Next, we have the types of gang. We have, first, we have criminal gang. A gang that focuses on crimes that will learn, or will earn, sorry, that will earn the money. This gang usually try to stay out of sight and will only recruit new members based on potential skills. In crimes such as burglary, this gang requires a stable neighborhood to work in. So, yan po ang ibig sabihin ng criminal gang natin. Next, we have the so-called conflict gang, a gang that is found in more transient neighborhood. The focus of this gang is obtaining status through toughness. Loyalty to the gang is all important. So, in conflict gang, okay, loyalty, yun ang mas kailangan or yun ang mas importante sa kanila. The status in the gang is determined by the appearance of being tough. Yan po ang tinatawag nating conflict gang. We have the retreatist gang. It's a group who does not have skills or who does not have the skills of the criminal gang or the ability to make it in the conflict gang. This group will simply hang out together around the behavior around the behavior of doing drugs or drinking or possibly sex. So nagiging ret uh, itong group na to, okay, hindi siya pwedeng uh, wala sa kanila yung ability ng criminal gang and wala din sa kanila yung ability ng conflict gang. Okay? Uh, tinatawag lang silang retreatist gang because uh, they uh, they are simply hanging out together. Okay? And doing drugs or drinking or possibly sex. Yung mga pangkaraniwang gang lang ito. Next, we have Frank Tenenbaum, Edwin Limert, and Howard Becker. They are the advocates of the labeling theory. The theory that explains about social reaction to behavior. The theory maintains that the original cause of crime cannot be known. No behavior is intrinsically criminal. Behavior becomes criminal if it is labeled as such. Okay? Take note, behavior becomes criminal kapag nabigyan ito ng label. Okay? Earl Richard Quinney one who advocated the instrumentalist theory, if capitalist rule. He argued that the state exists as a device for controlling the exploited class, the class that labors for the benefits of the ruling class. He claims that upper class create laws that protect their interests at the same time the unwanted behavior of all other members of society. So, in instrument theory, Okay, nandiyan na naman yung tinatawag nating upper and the lower class. Richard, by, by Earl Richard Quinney, the instrumentalist theory. Other theories naman tayo by Charles Darwin. He advocated the theory of evolution. So, alam nyo yan, napag-aralan natin yan nung high school. Okay, he claimed that humans like other animals are parasite daw. Man is an organism having an animalistic behavior that is dependent on other animals for survival. Thus, man kills and steal to live. Siyempre, okay, kailangan, uh, para mabuhay ang isang tao, kailangan niyang uh, magnakaw or 
pumatay. Okay, para lang mabuhay siya. Next, we have Adolf Kittlet. He pioneered cartography and cartho cartographical school of criminology that placed emphasis on social statistics. He discovered based on his research that crimes against persons increase, okay, during summer and crimes against property tends to increase during winter. Kasi kapag ka winter or yung tag-ulan, taglamig, okay, lahat ng tao, okay, is nasa loob lang ng bahay nila. Okay? And crimes against person naman is nangyayari during summer. Mainit, ibig sabihin, lahat ng tao nasa labas. Okay? Beach, kaya nangyayari yung crimes against person. Okay? Yan ang sinasabi ni Adolf Kittilet. Uh, na, na-discuss ko yan in our previous uh, module, I think, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, module 4. Okay? So, nandoon din yan. Next. Montesic, he advocated the spirits of loss. He said that criminality increases in proportion as one approach. The equator and drunkenness increases as one approaches of the North and South Pole. So, sabi ko nga na discuss ko na yan and uh, alam kong napanood nyo na rin yung module 4 natin. Okay? So, sabi lang naman niya, he advocated the spirits of loss. He said that criminality increases in proportion as approach the equator. Okay? nag increase daw yung proportion kapag ka malapit ka sa equator. O nakakagawa ka ng krimen, krimen kapag ka malapit ka sa equator. And also, drunkenness increases as one approaches of the North and South Pole. Next, social contract theory. It views that persons, moral, and or political obligations are dependent upon a contract or agreement between them to form society. It is likewise associated with modern moral and political theory and is given its first full exposition and defense. So, yan naman po ang ibig sabihin ng social contract theory natin. Moral and or political obligations. Next, we have operant conditioning by B.F. Skinner. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, natakal na din ito nung high school pa tayo. Based upon the idea that learning is a function of change in overt behavior. Changes in behavior are the result okay, of an individual response to events that occur in the environment. Operant conditioning theory. Okay? Changes in behavior are the result of individual response to events that occur in the environment. We have behaviorism approach by John Watson. It views man as an animal to the same loss of stimulus response that he observes in his animal experiment. It also holds that the subject matter of psychology is the behavior of the human being. Behaviorism claims that consciousness is neither a definite nor associable or usable concept. Next, differential reinforcement theory by Ronald Akers. It tries to incorporate the psychological principles of operant conditioning and held that even non-social situations could reinforce learning criminal behavior. Reinforcement, differential reinforcement by Ronald Akers. And also, we have uh, liberal feminism. Is that person, uh, personal rights that should predominate over concerns of social good. The liberal feminism Feminist wants to free women from oppressive gender rules. This focus bears a similarity to the existentialist position which seek equality of rights and freedoms between women and men. Okay? Liberal feminist contain, contends that a woman is free to enter into contracts. Meron nga tayong sinasabi na kung ano yung kaya ng lalaki, kaya na din gawin ng babae. Okay? Equality. Guys. Okay? Equality of rights. Okay? Ang liberal feminism.
radical feminism it seek the root cause of women's oppression it is the standpoint as may be expressed as viewing the division in all societies as that between men and women and stating that men are the oppressors of women radical feminist does not believe that a prostitute's desire to enter into such a contract is done of her own free will okay so yung susunod yung criminal formula natin na discuss ko na yan i think in uh, module 1 or module 2 kung hindi ako nagkakamuli na uh naipaliwanag ko na yan sa inyo okay in criminal formula in explaining the birth of criminal behavior we must consider three factors criminalistic tendency or the t the total situation or yung s and the person's mental and emotional resistance to temptations or yung tinatawag nating r these factors uh, can be put into formula as c is equal to t plus s over r where c Okay, equals crime or criminal behavior or yung act na tinatawag natin. T is equal to criminal tendency or yung desire or intent. S, yung total situation or yung opportunity. And R is yung resistance to temptation or yung control mo. So, yan yung uh, criminal formula. Okay, C is equal to T plus S over R. So, thank you. Okay. Uh, this will uh, this will be the end of my discuss, uh, discussion for module 5. So, uh, please like and subscribe.